The ICMPD Migration Outlook presents 10 migration issues to look out for and origins, key events and priorities for Europe in 2023. Here are our top five. Ukraine. A possible second wave of refugees from Ukraine may increase migration pressure on the EU. Currently, 4.9 million of Ukrainians are registered under the Temporary Protection Directive, which will expire March 2024. At the same time, 18 million Ukrainians are considered to be in urgent humanitarian support inside the country. Different scenarios therefore suggest that 500,000 to 4 million refugees might enter the EU possibly suddenly if the situation worsens. At the same time, those who are already in Europe need to be integrated into the labour market as quickly as possible. An increase of measures in the areas of language training, childcare, skills acknowledgement and on-the-job training are required. Alongside the possibility of an extension of the Temporary Protection Directive, preparing for the possibility of a new inflow of refugees and questions of integration will certainly remain a top priority for EU policymakers in 2023. Migration Routes In 2022, the Western Balkans route and the Central Mediterranean route recorded 75% of all detections of irregular border crossings into the EU. This was caused by increasing migratory pressures in important origin and transit regions, the growing instability and conflict, the economic fallout of the war in Ukraine, the increasing significance of Tunisia as a point of departure alongside Libya, visa-free access of important nationalities of origin to neighbouring countries and the subsequent attempts to cross into the Schengen zone are all factors that account for this high number. As a consequence, the tightening of visa regimes and route-specific EU action plans in the second half of 2022 have the potential to reduce the numbers in 2023, but will not fully outweigh the impact of other powerful drivers shaping migration along the two routes. Weaponization and instrumentalization of migration The EU will have to deal with attempts to instrumentalize migrants as a means of hybrid aggression also in 2023. Following the attempt to flood the EU with irregular migrants in 2021 from Belarus, an issue that the EU resolved quickly and in cooperation with the countries of origin of those instrumentalized migrants. Russia has recently announced to launch new direct flight connections between Kaliningrad, the Middle East and North Africa. The exclave of Kaliningrad, which borders Poland, can easily serve as a springboard for irregular movements towards the EU. The EU's draft instrumentalization regulation, initiated in 2021 and intended to serve as a main instrument addressing instrumentalization, did not find a majority at the Interior Ministers' Council in December, also driven by concerns about a weakening of the common European asylum system standards. The EU will have to come up with a coherent response to prevent the instrumentalization of migrants in the future. Labour shortages and economic downturn as drivers of migration the debate over shortages on European labour markets continued throughout 2022, despite of the economic uncertainties resulting from the war in Ukraine. Almost all European countries reported a lack of skilled workers and labour shortages across most sectors. Around 6 million jobs were waiting to be filled throughout the year. As a fallout of the war in Ukraine, the EU economy will be weak in 2023. GDP growth is forecast to reach only 0.3%, and inflation will remain high at 7%. The outlook on labour markets, however, is less pessimistic. Unemployment rates should rise moderately from 6.2% in 2022 to 6.5%, 6 and employment growth is expected to increase again in 2024. It is therefore quite likely that the reduced labour market demands due to the economic downturn will not outweigh the structural labour force losses due to demographic change. Labour migration issues will stay on the European agenda in 2023. A boom in new migration partnerships Because of growing labour supply needs, European governments have stepped up their efforts to actively recruit workers outside the European Union to enter into comprehensive migration and mobility partnerships in 2022. Portugal concluded agreements on employment and residence of workers with India and Morocco. Germany and India signed an agreement on migration and mobility intended as a model for further agreements in this field. India has concluded similar agreements with Finland, France and the United Kingdom, and will sign one with Austria as well. A main benefit of these agreements is that they do not solely focus on the labour market needs of destination countries, but ensure a broad political basis for cooperation on training issues, migrants' rights, 
combating illegal migration, and ensuring the return and reintegration of illegally staying migrants. In 2023, it will be interesting to see how much the numbers of such agreements will grow, and how quickly they will move to the level of practical implementation. This was our top 5 of the 10 migration issues to look out for in 2023. Download the entire report, including key events, trends and origins for migration in the EU in the year to come.